is um, your your first visit to to Jamaica. You're you're telling me. Um, we're very 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 happy to to have you. And I hope you see the warm welcome of the people. Um, Jamaica is a very free and liberal country, and uh, the people uh, are very expressive. Um, and I'm certain that you would have seen the spectrum of expressions yesterday. Um, there are issues here which are, as you would know, unresolved. Um, but your presence gives an opportunity for those issues to be placed in context, put front and center, and to be addressed uh, in as best as we can. Uh, but Jamaica is, as you would see, uh, a country that is very proud of our history, very proud of what we have achieved. And uh, we are moving on. And we intend to attain, in short order, our development goals uh, and fulfill our true ambitions and destiny as an independent, uh, developed, prosperous. students of Jamaica and want to know how it is that we are maneuvering through the pandemic, how is it that we are looking forward to how we are going to go and educate not only ourselves but the nation on a whole. Right. So it was actually a great experience to speak to our Royal in a lifetime experience which 
in I've uh, never seen my generation. Is this something you plan on telling your children about? Everybody. Not only my children, everybody in my community, everybody will mean more. Because this is an occasion. How much are they worth? I don't know what they're worth, but if I get something for them, I don't want no money. Who is on the money? Uh, Queen Victoria is on the money. So we're we talking about 1887. Yes. I want them to go back to where they came from. Okay. I believe they are special, and I want the right person to get them back.
This is a belief is a significant tribute to the unprecedented and dedicated service and absurdly commitment to the performance of her duty as head of the monarchy and head of the Commonwealth. Her Majesty's wisdom and steady guidance over many years have served these institutions well and have been central to their continued existence. Jamaica therefore acknowledges and extends best wishes to Her Majesty on attaining this unparalleled milestone. Your Excellency, Prime Minister, and my son, Mr. Thomas, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Thank you, Madam General, for kind words, and for hosting us all here at Queen's Night tonight. Kathy and I are very pleased to be here for our first official visit. All my family have enjoyed their visit here, and they have waxed lyrical about the warmth and the sense of fun of the Jamaican people and the beauty of this island. Already in our short time here, Catherine and I are delighted to have felt what Paul Marlon described so many years ago the spirit of one love that Jamaica has given to the world and which makes this country so special. I'm particularly pleased tonight. Convey the very best wishes from my grandmother of the Queen of Jamaica on the occasion of her platinum jubilee. It is no secret that the Queen has a deep affection for Jamaica, born on her very first visit here with my grandfather, Duke of Edinburgh, in 1953. And likewise, I have been touched in the essay from Jamaica's young and old about their affection for the Queen. Her dedication, commitment, and sense of duty to the Commonwealth family is deeply admired. She may be my actual grandmother, but everyone counts her as their grandmother too. I'm okay with that. And of course, as a queen marked 70 years on the throne, this is also a very special year for Jamaica, as you celebrate your 60th anniversary of independence. Now that's double excuse for a party. As we heard for ourselves at the cradle of radio music last night in Trench Town, when the rats of the drums start playing, we really do know how to have a good time. Another highlight of our visit was lining up with many cup winners, Kingston College, and some of the world's best footballers, Raheem Sterling and Leon Bain. Leon plays the best football team in the world, the mighty Acid <laughs> As for me, yet again, I blazed wide from five yards. It was more like ten yards. It was also fantastic to meet the hottest thing on ice, to make this inspirational of Oxford Eve. And of course, Elaine and Shelly Allen, the fastest women on the planet. We look forward to welcoming the multi talented Jamaican team to the Commonwealth Games of Birmingham this July. The rest of the world is going to be a head start in the names of winning sprints. Over the decades, Jamaica has witnessed a huge change. But what hasn't changed is the irrefutable Jamaican belief in that holding democracy and working together with other nations in support of peace, security, and international laws. Prime Minister, your strong statement condemning the invasion of Ukraine is testimony. Now, and I were deeply moved by the plight of Jamaican students who have recently returned safely from Ukraine. Their experiences are a reminder of the terrifying toll and inequality of war and conflicts across the world, which you must never forget. Anniversaries are also a moment for reflection, particularly this week, with the International Day of Remembrance of the Victims of Slavery and the Transatlantic Slavery. I strongly agree with my father, the Prince of Wales, who said in Barbados last year that we have all been trusted with slavery for an escaping time. I want to express my profound sorrow. Slavery was a point, but it should never have happened. While the pain runs deep, 
to make a continuous forward suture with determination, courage, and fortitude. The strength and shared sense of purpose of Jamaican people, representing your flag and motto, celebrate an invincible spirit. It is the same spirit that spurred on Windrush generation, who came to the United Kingdom to help rebuild after the Second World War. We are forever grateful for the immense contribution that this generation and their descendants have made to British life, which continues to enrich and improve our society. I'm delighted that a national monument acknowledging and celebrating the Women of Generation by Jamaican artist Basil Watson will be unveiled later this year in Waterloo Station in London. Here at Kingston today, we have students and staff at Children's Teachers College striving to give children a strong foundation for life and giving Catherine inspiration for her work on early childhood. Doctors and nurses in Spanish High Hospital working selflessly to care for the sick and vulnerable despite the challenges of the pandemic. And the Jamaican Defence Force working hand in glove with local communities in Frankfurt to prepare young people for employment and our life. We deeply admire their dedication and commitment. Catherine and I only really wish we had more time to spend with you all in There is so much more to learn. I hope this will be one of many visits, and next time we come to bring our children to the world. Governor General, Thank you again for hosting us all tonight. Have a happy new year.